You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thank you for stopping by today. Another new item from Hasbro. I need to say thank you to them for sending this to me for free to show you on video today. It's for ages two plus, and it does include, as uh, what I'm seeing on the packaging here, a Baby Yoda, but total pieces are 14. Uh, let's just check out the side of the box. Okay, so there it shows you all the pieces, and yes, there's a little Baby Yoda that sits in a pouch on the side. Let's check out this side, maybe it's the same. No, it's not the same. It says, out of this world fun. Okay, then let's check out the back. Oh, there you go. You get a complete picture with Baby Yoda. All right, spuds are the way, it says on the back here. Again, thanks to Hasbro. I do appreciate it. Let's get this out of the box. We'll learn about it, put the pieces on, and check it out. Okay, ooh, the top of the box, it says Yam DeLorean and the Tot. All right, so that's what they're calling it. Well, maybe there's something on the bottom, too. Not much. Plastic-free packaging. Okay, all right. You know, you might as well check out everything while you have the chance. What do you think of the artwork on there? Let me know what you think of the artwork. I think it's cute. Definitely uh, fun-looking. But we're not here to check out the box artwork, are we? We're here to see what's inside. All right, so... Now, he's not packaged like in any kind of plastic bag in any way. There's his feet. Okay, got to get the feet in there. There's a little piece of paper. I don't know. Just kind of has all different languages. All right. Okay, so this is wrapped in like a, like a tissue, like a white tissue. Okay, that's his back cape. There's the little pouch. Okay, here he is. Ooh, the pieces are inside. There's this cool looking helmet. Look at that. That's pretty cool looking, I must say. And then this last little piece. Let's see what's hiding inside. My spud. Okay, we have arms, ears, hands, nose. All right. Okay, so this is what we're starting with. Now, of course, they don't give you any instructions on where to put pieces because you can put the pieces anywhere you so desire. There he is. I think this makes it for me. Yes, look at that. Ooh, it's like a it's like a finger puppet. Hi, I'm Baby Yoda. I don't know how Yoda sounds. Does that clip in there? Look at that. So he just presses right in the little waste pouch. All right, let's get the box out of here. All the paper out of here. All right, so they show this as the front. This goes on here. No, it doesn't. This goes one more down. Okay, like that. And then his feet, got to get the feet on. Okay, there you go. So we're starting. Let me turn the camera, change the angle just a little bit. Now I'm guessing once you put the helmet and the cape on, you wouldn't put the other pieces on. I guess you could. There's a little hole up here for his eyes. So you got to get the eyes in there. The eyes have it. Ooh, it goes through both. Hmm. You got to push it all the way down to get the eyes in. Okay. And I probably should have put this little cape on, but let's just see what this piece on first, how that looks. Okay, there you go. All right, so sliding this on. Let me see, do they show you? They really don't. Oh, it goes over the whole outside of the outfit here. All right, let's do this. Let's take this off. Okay. That came off with the door, so that's on there pretty tight, so you're gonna have to uh, be careful. There we go. All right, let me start this over. So to get pieces off, like to get the helmet off, you gotta take the eyes off. To get that off, you gotta take that. So it's a whole process. I remember this on regular potato heads, the way you have to Okay, let's just see. Okay, 
there we go. And it looks like this is going to line up with this little hole back here, maybe? What do you think? So that's locked in with the cape. All right, there we go. Okay. Now, they show it on the other side. Interesting. On the box, it's shown on that side. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? Let me bring the camera back. You get a little better perspective of everything. You can still get his little arms in there. have to line it up to get it all to sit right. There we go. Okay. And that goes over that. That goes over that. I bet you that's going to go over that. All right. And the eyes now. Got to make sure that one lines up. Hmm. There we go. So it takes a little work to get it all just right. There's so many pieces. I wish they'd give you a little like instruction. Yeah, this this here, the helmet can't be pushed down all the way. So there's gonna be a little gap there, it looks like to get all of the pieces in just right. Okay, there we go. Ooh, boy, lots going on there. And then let's get this back in here. here get your arm up here and this baby Yota in there. Okay, so we got it like that. All right, so that is uh, one of the looks. So I'm just wondering, maybe that doesn't go down there. Maybe it goes down a little further. Ooh, that's better. Okay, that wraps around that arm good. Hmm. I don't know. Let me take it apart again and just see. Let me re... Let me rebuild. Of course, they show him on the box with just the bottom piece on, his mustache. Let's do that one. So take this off. Take this off. Again... To get this out, you have to be careful. And then Yoda's off to the side. Okay, let me set that. All right, so now that that's set, let me bring in the other pieces here. So they show on this one here, okay. That's locked in there. This is held in here by his nose. There, okay. And then the eyes up here. There we go. Now that clips in real nice. See, there's these extra two holes on the side. I wonder if that's where his arms are supposed to go and I had him too high. They don't really fit too well in there, nope. No? You know, maybe just the pieces are new, so they're kind of snug. Snug as a bug. Yeah, you really gotta push them in. Then, of course, the ears up here. The ears have it. I'm missing an ear. There it is. Underneath the helmet. All right, so that is one option. Oh, and they have the cape. See, the cape... Yeah, so look at that. So the cape has to go on. It's showing it way lower. This is way lower than his ears. So I'm not going to buy that that's where the hands go.
Well, that looks that looks good like that. Maybe it is. I guess it doesn't really matter, you know. It's however you want to put them together, right? Isn't that the whole key? Of course, now this will not fit on, right? And in the next picture, they show him. They show they show it really wacky. They show all of this off of them. They show an arm up here. No cape. Okay. And then let me get the backpack on. This is just a matter of locking the little pins in. That's real easy to do. Okay, so they show an ear up here, an ear down here. This hand here. Okay, his eyes down here. And his nose and mustache. Ooh, this up here. And his eyes here. Ooh, that looks kind of funny. It looks like it's his smiley face. But you don't see that in their picture. So maybe they, no, they don't have it reversed. Hmm, where's this in this picture? Because the only way to hold the mustache in is with a, with his nose. So maybe this goes here and then you put it lower on the mustache to the second hole. No, then you see that hole. See what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? There's always going to be a slot you see. No matter how you put that. Hmm. Interesting. But I kind of like it because now you have a little smiley face there. Right, let me just try to do this again. Let me get all the pieces off. So that is the way I'm starting. Let's go back to this. They show the front cape piece in this slot. Okay. His feet are here. All right. Then they show his cape on his back. So that fits in that hole. That has to be there. Okay, so then there's a little room under here for that left arm. Got to really push it in. Okay. I think that is how that's supposed to go. And then the little Yoda. Now I could put it on. Last time I put it on from the bottom. Let's just try it again. Kind of just sits there. Okay, he's on the right side. Okay, so you can twist it either side. So now he's on the way to have it pictured. Then this. And then now uh, you gotta just match the hole up for his eyes, which you have to find. Which I think is supposed to be way down. There we are. Okay, so it takes a little bit. There we go. All right, now I think I have. You get in there. Yes, now it's pretty snug as a bug to get that all just right. Push his feet back a little. All right, so that's the way it is on the box. So I guess it can go this side or this side, depending on how you put that strap on. All right, boy. 
I struggled with a potato head. Yeah, so originally, see, I had this line up to the back where the would get held in by the cape. But I don't think that's necessity. Again, every time you take this cape off, it pretty much takes the back door out there. So you have to put the door back in. Okay, and then you store all your little pieces in here. That was always a really cool feature about your potato heads. I have a whole collection of Mr. and Mrs. Potato Heads in my archives of stuff. And the baby spuds and all that. Let's see. Yeah, see that has to be pushed down all the way to match up with that first hole right there. Can you see it right there? Okay. And then this can go this way or this way. All right, we're good. Let me put his legs back on. We'll make one more funny face. And then I think you have to have this on to hold this in place. So you can turn it this way or you can turn it that way. That in itself, I think, is the coolest little add-on piece. Again, it's snug. Lots of snug pieces. All right, I think we got that. Get out of the way. There you go. There you go. Okay. Let's get your ears in. We're going to put no hands on. That's why they had that hand up here, because now you have that open slot. All right, there you go. Pretty cool little set. The Star Wars Mandalorian with the Baby Yoda from Hasbro. Again, thanks to them for sending this to me to show you on video. Hopefully uh, you weren't too uh, caught up on my confusion, but I think it takes a little bit sometimes, especially with new items like this and all the pieces to figure out the best way to fit them in. And again, I think when you play with it more, then... It's going to relax the plastics a little and we'll be able to slide the pieces in and out better. And as always, thanks for watching Lucky Penny Shot. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny... Pick it up!